Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, our next guest is the Hari. She's actually pretty awesome. I just walked into her studio. Um, she does uh, Qigong. She does Tai Chi, meditation, a lot of uh, body healing, how you can heal yourself with um, breathing, with meditation, with exercise, and also awareness. I read that's that in the right. book. Yeah, she's Thank actually you. really interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing that stood out to me. That's in Chapter 6. So I, um, that has to do a lot with work because uh, I'm in a uh, really high stressful sales job. And um, a lot of people, they either crack, or they get like mental issues, physical issues. And it's it's really just in your head. Mm. What do you think? It's in your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And the more you're in your head, the less you're grounded in your gut, you know? Okay. So you're talking about chapter six in the right, right, Water yeah. Fire Down book. Yeah. yeah. So this so, book right here. Oh. Um, it's actually ca- called Water Up, Fire Down, because uh, in your stomach, it's supposed to be fire, like it's rumbling. In your head, you're supposed to be cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so it also said uh, something that I'm actually reading, it, like I'm on chapter seven oh, now. Wow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, it also said, like, uh, whenever you get stressed out, just picture your head like in ice or like just cooling down. Yeah. Mm. And that's, that falls into awareness. So and then you will cool down because uh, you're just more aware of like what's happening. That's right. Or you can put a like a piece of ice or i actually like to put crisp like a cold rock or crystal here Uh and then you want to make it cool because you know when you get emotional Uh uh, thinking a lot that's why it gets so hot you know your chest gets blocked you can't breathe that's what the state of stress is actually called that fire up water down just fire up yeah so then you're just trying to rebalance it rebalance it so the proper balance is of course uh fire in your belly and uh, just cool head. Just have That's a cool, clear head. Just exactly. be cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's in our language. Oh, is this? You know, like, calm down, cool down. You know, we don't say, like, you know. So, you know, anger is, like, heat in the head, uh-huh. right? So, so yeah, exactly. It's in our language. So, okay. like, when you get stressed or emotional, your stomach starts to hurt, right? Remember when you were a child? I don't know if you, you experienced it, like, when you're stressed or, oh, mom, I have a stomach ache. And all she does is put her hand on your her, your belly sometimes and then calms down the nerves. My because, grandma did that. Yeah, because there's a lot of nerves in our gut, this core. Yeah. Like gut bio. And uh, you know what? So I've read, um, we're talking about Joe Dispenza mm-hmm. earlier, which I love. I quote him all the time. Um, yes. Apparently, like your gut, um, your stomach is your third brain. Second. I heard your heart is your second brain. Oh, <laughs> that we, well, I don't know, but. Normally, the in but science or typically they say the second brain. Pretty yeah. much, your stomach or your gut has yeah, a brain. brain. Yeah. So um, it's 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 connected to your whole body. Exactly. So yeah. if you're stressed out, you could be more constipated or you could be uh, diuretic. Um, so so there's definitely a brain in there. You should definitely be attuned to it more, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the your second brain yeah. is like. It, uh, there's a super highway system connecting your head brain and gut brain. Uh-huh. You know, the vagus nerve also goes down there. I mean, you can look it up and study it. No, no, it. tell me more about so it. What the, is it? The, I read about it in the book, oh, but for okay. people that don't know, uh, so there's something called the vagus nerve. I didn't really understand it too well. If you want to explain it to us a little oh, more. Oh, I mean, I don't know that much detail you know, okay. health-wise, <laughs> but I just know that, you know, like sometimes you feel a heartbeat in your gut if you really go deep. That's because there's the the heart line like that. And it actually goes to your brain. That vagus nerve goes all the way down. It travels. So that's the kind of like the the super highway system. It just it, it there's information, you know, like highway yeah, 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 that yeah. goes to, to each area. But the gut is a is a separate operating system. system. Yeah, okay. it's a separate system, but they communicate. So I was gonna say earlier, like I always say, your body only follows one. Th- this is very simplified, but your body only follows one thing. Your mind, you know, uh-huh. and then what separates mind and body? Uh, thoughts and emotions and feelings yeah. and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. got it. And and let me tell you one thing about the brain that the brain stem, which sits on top of your first vertebrae right here. Okay, that brain stem controls functions, regulates functions, the things you don't think about, like heartbeat, digestion, um, like breathing. Okay, they're regulated by that brain stem. So that brainstem, when you put too much like thoughts, emotions on, like meaning too many thoughts, emotions, it kind of puts like like pressure, you know, on the it, brainstem. And can that be and caused it, by like anger, fear, and also like uh, yes. just 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 stress, yeah, just, just stress in general. I mean, scientists have said 
how many thoughts do we have a day? I, I'm sure it's more now, but they say every 0 0.07 seconds we have a thought. Wow. So that makes 50,000 to 60,000 thoughts a day unconsciously going on. So I, I wish I could draw on a board for you, but basically if you think about um, like head, heart, and gut, this is like the top of the waves of the ocean. You the know, top like, part of the head. It, the, the, like the brain waves are so fast, just like the top of an ocean. Uh -huh. <sighs> waves. If you sink down, and that's what we say, calm down, cool down, like to, let's say, this level of your heart, chest. It's fast, too. Emotions are fast, but emotions are not as fast as the frequency of thoughts. And if you sink down, just like the bottom of the ocean. Very good. Yeah. So that's why we, as far as brain waves, we want to calm down. But to what frequency? For us, we say the frequency of your natural healing frequency, where things are in alignment, everything. You and, know? And, and, and just to point that out, mm -hmm. would you say like uh, a lot of different people have different frequencies? Like when you met me the day before yesterday, I was really high energy. And that's just how I am. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I might have like a, a lower or higher frequency than someone else. That's uh -huh. like very mellow and chill. Uh -huh. Would you say like uh -huh. everyone has a different frequency? Uh, sure, everyone has different like, yeah. like a frequency or vibration okay. out. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yes, there's no bad, good, right, wrong. Yeah. But, you know, but, but same person, you because your frequency is a little different now, you can have more up or down or, you know, this is just my opinion, but... However, we go up and down, mm -hmm. but we do need to, f at least we can go up and down, but we always have the center, the, the center. center evenness, like okay. in the eye of the tornado. Okay. But you're centered. You're inside. centered. Got it. Yeah, eye of the storm or something. So, um, meditation. Mm -hmm. So, I meditate all the time. Um, sometimes I have good meditations. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes my body fights me. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes my mind fights me. Do you have any advice for me on how I can, uh, I don't want to say how I can meditate better because I don't want to uh, lower myself by saying it's a good meditation or bad. It's how can I better myself during those meditations? Mm -hmm. Do you have well, some advice for me? It's only from our practice perspective and you're being introduced to it. So uh, I would say also ground yourself in your body. So what, what do you mean by that? So what we focus on here is, you know, like water, fire down creating that circulation of fire or or like this gut area, you know, um, grounded, rooted. So, you know, we do some like tapping on the gut, you know. So I would, I would say um, to, to you know, help your growth or further your growth, the first thing we say is connect to your body first and then to your true self uh -huh. or your true Higher nature. Self. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So body is the grounding power. We live in this body, right? Yeah, we do. So I would say just a little bit different perspective or tweak for you is focus on how to ground yourself. It's like chi or ki energy too. The most chi, ki energy is in here. Yeah, we call it, you know, like different ways of calling it, but your energy center here. That's why in the chakras, it's uh -huh. also red. Down here is red. So it's meant to be like warm, hot, circulating, grounded. So I would say for you to deepen your meditation is um, practice some ways to bring the energy down here first. And then I I believe your meditation will deepen. Really? Yeah. And yeah. then you said you had some digestive issues I or did. Things. I did. So, so yes. just to go back on this. Um, so I was just driving by this place, and I saw <laughs> Tai Chi meditation. I was like, this place is cool. Mm. So I just walked in. Daryl was kind enough to greet me. And mm. I was like, hey, I have a podcast. Uh, will you be on my podcast? She said, yeah, I left it. And sure. I was like, cool, hey, here we are. Um, and, and I was telling her, I was like, yeah, I have some, like, digestive issues uh, where, um, like, yeah, I don't really go to the bathroom too much. Mm. And I know there's something going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she, she gave me the <laughs> stick. Um, yeah. I mean, she didn't give it to me. She let me reuse it. Yes. Um, it's, yeah. it's like a handle and it has a pointy part where you put it on your belly button right. and you just push it in. Yep. Um, yep. And then I was experimenting. I pushed it on some other areas. There are some tender parts of my stomach. Mm -hmm. And uh, there isn't some tender parts. But the parts that were not tender kind of hurt more. Mm. So they're like, apparently that opens things up. Mm -hmm. And um, not it, to draw a picture, but it actually helped. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it really helped. That, it helped yeah. a lot. 
Yeah, because the body, you know, there's 365 acupressure points in your entire body, a lot in your gut. If you see that doll, we have it here in the back, but it's like all these points. So you have a lot mm -hmm. of acupressure points and then energy channels, like this is the energy anatomy of your body. There's 12 meridians or energy channels running down your body. So so that's what we deal with is opening the energy flow or, um, but using the stick or you can use your hands even. Yeah. And you press on those pressure points. And when you find one that's like, oh, it's stuck, you know. And then you work on that area to loosen it up. And then that's why, you know, it, it can help want, yeah. with the flow of this area. So so when you say But I also feel because, like, you're con you said, you know, comes con some constipation. Yeah. It's also, that's cold energy. So So now fire up, water down. So cold. So you need to warm up your core and gut. Yeah, more. warm it up more. Yeah, that makes by, sense. By like I said, we, you can tap it, you can press it, massage it. We have all kinds of tools too to make it, you know, there. And like, and I was gonna mention before. Um, so your gut also check this out. Your gut, like second brain, but honestly, I refer to sometimes my first brain because mm -hmm. your belly button was f formed first. You were connected to your mom through the umbilical cord. Ooh, so I never thought of that. So this was form first, you know. So, so, um, so this area has these are facts. One third of your blood, about one third of your blood, is here. Uh -huh. Ninety percent of serotonin, which is your happy hormone, it's around your belly. Let body. me stop you there. That makes perfect sense because every time I take a poop in the morning, <laughs> <laughs> yes. like I just have like the best day. Like, yeah. uh, but like, uh, but that makes a lot of sense. Cause like we joke about it at work. I'm like, move your bowels, ladies and gentlemen. Just, but, but it's like not really joking. It's like a stigma because we, you're not That's supposed right. to talk about that, yeah, especially in the work it. culture. Yeah. Let's oh, not yeah. talk about pooping. <laughs> but when you do and you go, you, you're just, you're, you you're release. first, ah, you release and you just yeah. feel more light. <laughs> yeah. So one, one guy who's very sensitive, he told me that every time he, you know, poops, <laughs> we're talking about poop here. Yeah. Um, poops. He feels all his emotions are clear. Yeah, me too. Yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it mm -hmm. just feels good. So that makes sense to... to yeah, take care of your gut. I didn't yeah. know you're 90% of your serotonin. And 50% dopamine. Joy hormone, it's in your gut. So that's why we say health, happiness begins in your gut. It begins in your gut. And so oh, that, I didn't really think about it too much. So here's the thing. When I've been meditating a lot, um, I always concentrate mm -hmm. on my mind, not my body. And then I went to a meditation retreat. They're like, listen, this is a mind-body connection. Mm. Like, yeah, it's your mind, but your body's connected to it. Exactly. The nervous system and everything. So you have to concentrate on both. Yeah, I used to do the same thing. I did meditation for years, like before, like Zen meditation, and focus on the mind and all the contents, but I didn't focus down here. And then through this practice, wow, I realized that brain. Yeah. This is also, you brain. know. When you like feel centered, settled. I mean, I think all the ancient masters same, like they just didn't talk about too much or that body part. But I think they're rooted, they're grounded. They're grounded. That's why it's like a um, um, a tree that has it's rooted. So all the branches and um, all the weather, snow, and they can weather it because they have the trunk rooted. Okay. So this is your root. Well, the root chakra at the very bottom. Yeah, yeah, but, it's at the bottom. Um, but um, so I think you're talking about number two. Yeah. And number two and number well, three, maybe? both. Want first and second chakra. Okay. But if energy is secured down there, now this is a whole nother podcast on chakras. Hey, we could get into it. <laughs> but um, that that area um, is like, we say action power, willpower, like grounding power. It's like, we call it earth palace. It's, yeah. it's just the grounding. You know? Okay. And if you don't believe in any of that stuff, just be more mindful to your stomach. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah just exactly. be more mindful. And yep. Yeah, got it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, Take so. care of your gut, and then you know when you know babies when yeah. they, if you watch babies when they breathe like babies, they breathe from their belly. That's the right so way. Diaphragm, gut. your diaphragm. But as we get older, here's the thing: it goes like up, up our breath, and then we're in our head so much. Like I always say, we're living in the third floor. And here's a second floor, first floor. Can you come down to your first floor? I yeah. mean, like, come down here. You know, move downstairs because we're always living on our head. So, in a nutshell, um, to make it in very simple terms, uh -huh. be more mindful to your gut. Be more mindful to your gut. It ha houses all that 
things like I said, the dopamine, the serotonin, the and 75% of your immune system is determined by the gut. There's a whole like abdominal really? lymphatic system. I, I'm telling you, I didn't know this either. Me neither. So this is the key to your health. And even in Tai Chi, Qigong, the Qi power is here. You're, you know. How does Tai Chi, what is Tai Chi? Tell me, tell me what that is per se. So, I mean, simple, you can just say, energy movements chi is life energy mm -hmm. or chi or ki uh, ki uh, in japan and korea they say ki in china they say chi same, so same thing, thing yeah same yeah thing. tomatoes so, and tomatoes yeah <laughs> so um um it's energy movements you know it's opening the flow of your body so it's movements honestly originally it's also to help you settle your energy right so before, there's a, people ask, what is the difference between Tai Chi and Qigong, you know? Yeah. So to, I'll just say that Qigong doesn't have, like, set moves and, like, numbered set moves, like, you know, this form, that form. But it's more like nature, like, be the sky, be the wind. You the know, ocean, like maybe. Ocean. Yeah, so it's more free-flowing. Yeah, it's very similar. It's just, just how, you know, it formed, you know? So I would say energy movements, that's what it is, you know, at the base level. Energy movement. Yes, but you have to feel the energy first, yeah. you know. And then connecting with the earth and the energy flow. Yeah, you can, I mean, honestly, when you're sitting like this, it is energy moving in your body. For Tai Chi and Qigong, it's, you're actually moving your physical body. Yeah, but you want to go a little deeper, like I said, there's energy channels, you know. You don't need to know this for, to do the motions, yeah. but it's a little deeper if you know that there are energy channels, like this is your lung right here. So when you're doing certain moves, and then in Tai Chi they talk about yin and yang. This is yang, this is yin. Yang is the outside part of your arm. Flip it over, the inside part is yin. So as you're going up and down, you're balancing your yin and yang energy. Can you say cool yeah. and warm? Um, or it's different a little bit different like we can say sun and moon but okay. it's kind of like cooler yeah because yin is moon yang is sun yeah okay. so there's more depth in it but overall people do tai chi qigong to move for stress relief uh -huh. for being healthy but how is it making you healthy it's calming your mind you're entering the feeling of your body and then oh there's energy in my body flowing and then become like nature, you know, we say. So you're actually, like, you know, slowing down and you're moving like nature. Moving yeah, like nature. Yeah. One with nature. Do you know, yes. uh, I mean, I've, I've read studies where if you take off your shoes and you just go to, uh, like, the forest I or if that. you go backyard, to your backyard and put your uh, feet on the grass, your heart rate drops. Totally recommend. <laughs> really? Yeah, I do it. I've done it myself and now, like, I mean, because uh, I moved to Utah oh, just yeah. to be more with nature. Um, and it's like, oh, my life is so much better now. I live like 10 minutes away from the forest. Like I just drive deep inside and I, I drive somewhere. There's no people. Wow. Like it's like the I, birth chirping. I mean, it's peaceful. Even though it's not, you know, we're in the city, but mm. I'm not from LA. So I, I've been here about maybe five years. Okay. But I really love that I'm like 10, 30 minutes from the mountains, yeah. 10, 30 minutes, 30 minutes to the ocean. That's so at least LA. we can go in you know yeah but you're right it's isn't it called grounding i we call it grounding Take i don't know what shoes it, i don't know what it's called ground yeah i just know uh their studies done and it really does help people lower their heart rate um apparently in japan um they have these like uh, seminars or like these retreats where they take people that have like a like uh what they call it ptsd or major depression mm -hmm. and they take them to the forest for like a week no cell phone no nothing and these people like overcome it Ooh, wow. yeah yeah. Yeah. So I was reading about studies like that too. That's a fact. I mean, I don't know if it works 100, percent but I know they have yeah. retreats for that. So apparently. And, and basically, I'm just saying that even coming in here when I meet people for the first time, and they come like for introduction session to energy or, so 
our mind is constantly and energy and consciousness constantly focused on the outside world. People place things, people place things. So it's like we're eating the outside world. The minute you open your eyes in the morning, you're just already eating everything like outside world. There's stimuli coming in is what you mean? Yes. Our five senses were already, I'm saying, yeah, dig yeah, yeah, getting from the outside world. So now it's time to like, when those healing times, you're turning the energy, focus, concentration inside. Now you're coming into focus on yourself. So, you know, when that's we exactly what I did yesterday. Yeah. So, so yesterday we're supposed to do this podcast, um, mm -hmm. but uh, I got really, really sick. Oh. I don't know how. Um, I don't know how, but like mm -hmm. I woke up in the morning and I had really bad back pain and I was just sweating. And like within an hour of me just doing whatever I was doing, it just gradually got worse. Right. So around 1 p.m. I was like, oh, my goodness. When when I tried to come here, I took a nap and like I brought the book because I like to be a man of my work. But when I came, I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> I think you're going through some detox symptoms. So detox Possibly. signs. Yeah. Your body. But, yeah. So so my mom's like, oh, my God, you have COVID, this, that. <gasps> oh, yeah. It's bad. You can't go to your flight tomorrow. You're going to have to stay here another week. I don't know if you're trying to trick me or not, but uh -huh. it was bad. Like, literally, like, I went into bed, and I was just oh, sweating. My. Like, And then I, I left oh, for half goodness. an hour. I came back, and it was, I touched the bed sheet. It was all sweat. So when did you start to feel better? This morning when this I woke up. But here's the thing. I did a Joe Dispenza meditation. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, uh, out of the box or mm -hmm. box meditation mm -hmm. where you're in this state and you just picture yourself stepping into a different box mm -hmm. where you're 100% better. So I was bad. I'm like, I don't care. I need to do this. It was a one hour meditation. Mm -hmm. I just put my headphones on and I took all that energy, my mom's negative energy, all this stuff, mm -hmm. take this medication. I put all that into me and I told myself no matter what, I'm going to overcome this and tomorrow I'll be better. And I woke mm -hmm. up good yeah feel great that's the i feel great but the power of carol yeah <laughs> well that's the power of mind over matter yeah your energy yes yes, yes. how to ch take that energy and just put it inside of you mm -hmm. so so it really works like it really does here's the thing it requires work and it's not as easy as taking a pill or a tylenol and feeling better mm. but it, it works mm. it requires more work it, it was me sitting there for one hour and concentrating on myself around 4 p.m I did this, mm -hmm. and um, around 7, my mom rubbed some stuff on my chest just to make me feel a little better. I went mm -hmm. to bed at nine, 7 p.m. I woke up at 7 a.m., mm -hmm. and I told myself I'm in the new box, and I just jumped out of bed and felt great. Mm -hmm. Have you been sleeping okay in the last few week or so? Like, how's your sleep? Um, well, I, I flew here last uh, Friday. Or Friday. So maybe it's like the environment changed. Mm -hmm. That could be it. But mm -hmm. uh, I've been sleeping pretty well. I mean, mm -hmm. not, yesterday I slept <laughs> A lot. Yeah, yeah. I, that I think was your you needed it the healing yeah. sleep long healing sleep yeah that that always helps um yeah. so so even even with like uh, practitioners and everyone mm -hmm. um one thing I see that everyone says the same thing in common is like get rest relax even with doctors mm -hmm. a hundred years ago two hundred years ago with enough rest anything's gonna get cured that's right no stress you don't have anything just go lay down and relax so I took the day to myself mm -hmm. when I felt myself going down. I didn't push it. I didn't go out at night. I yes. had plans with my friends. Right. I had to cancel. Uh, I was like, Dude, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna relax on myself, yeah. get some rest. You're and listening to your body. Well, inside. yeah, <laughs> but, but that's me meditating yeah. more, listening to my body. Like five years ago, I'd be like, Nah, forget this. I'm just gonna charge through it. Probably yeah. get worse. Right. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say one thing about parasympathetic nervous system and sympathetic nervous system. Do you know the difference? Of course, yeah, parasympathetic, yeah. parasympathetic nervous yeah. system is when you're in that fight or flight state. Mm -hmm. Sympathetic nervous system is when you're calm and relaxed. Yeah. And that's uh -huh. when creativity and uh, calmness and still and uh, just just a better state of your mm -hmm. body comes into place. Mm -hmm. So so I've been doing a lot of ice baths. Mm -hmm. It's like mind over matter stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guy, uh, his name is Palouse. He's a good friend of mine. Um, he does, we do a lot of breathing exercise from the diaphragm, like you talked about. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and then we do that. So apparently, you're only supposed to breathe from your nose just to calm down. Is that is that correct? Mm. Or at least don't have shallow breathing. Yeah. Just have calm breathing, which I read that in the book. Because the yeah. first thing is breathe. <laughs> like when you're stressed out, just breathe. I mean, when I teach the class, I always um, tell my students, first inhale nose, exhale mouth. What class? First. What class? Oh, just the body and brain class that I teach. Can you explain day. it to me? Because I don't really know about it. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Explain <laughs> to us, everybody. I mean, anyways, these are regular class. I mean, like breathing, stretching, relaxation. But when they lie down, you know, we do stretching. We do some tapping. We do all kinds of things. It's just, I call it integrated mind-body exercises. It can be like yoga exercises. It could be like energy. It could be, you know, some healing exercise like tapping. But when at some point they lie down on the floor and then just go into relaxation posture, you know. Okay. Like hands out on the side leg straight just we call it empty posture it's totally empty just okay. empty lying the down mind? just empty empty uh, okay empty. just yeah. do and nothing at that time i tell them do chest breathing first not the deep because i mean not the deep breathing first just chest breathing so i say inhale nose exhale mouth so release because your mouth is the largest acupressure point or hole in your body so when you just sigh out relaxing your jaw <sighs> like sigh out, you release all the stagnant toxic energy, you know? So it's like a you know, the air condition in the car when you you either cycle it out or cycle it in. Yeah. You know? So out first, like breathe out your mouth. <sighs> so I so inhale nose, exhale mouth. Yeah, and then just relaxing your chest. And then when they feel relaxed, close your mouth and do your nose breathing. When you're relaxed enough. Then you can go like next deeper and only not out the mouth, but just the nose. That means, yeah. And yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so what else do you guys do here to integrate mm -hmm. a better well-being for people? Well, I mean, we, the different things, breath work, you know, the Tai Chi Qigong, the stretching. It's actually about activating your energy inside. So that first step means bring your mind from the outside world inside. So how? Well, to feel your body. That's mm. why we do anything to stretch. Oh, I feel the back of my legs. I feel this. I feel that. Just feeling. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then as you keep getting connected inside, inside, um, you know, like I said, we do some breathing postures, you know, to help accumulate energy all water at fire down to accumulate energy in your gut, your core, your root. And then relaxation at the end and sitting and meditation. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's, I mean, it's hard to describe. <laughs> describe. You can, there's some YouTube videos too, or you can, you know, try a class here. Um, well, I tried the stick and what you told yeah. me about my stomach and actually helped a lot yeah so i was like damn this actually helped like I that's awesome so i was like okay yeah, yeah i need to go back and just you know i wonder i wonder a little bit if that actually caused some detox like so i mean like it started your process of going in and you totally that kind of sick symptoms or you know yeah sometimes we call like detox symptoms it could um you could feel all kinds of things, but it's only like a, it looks, it feels like a one day flu. It was. That's like exactly that. what it was. It was a yeah. one day flu. It's gone. Yeah. I feel good. And today, More I don't clear. want to talk about pooping yeah, yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but we're good. So, so I feel really good. Yeah. I feel light. Um, I'm in a good mood. My friends are coming over for a barbecue tonight. That's awesome. We're just going to hang out and, you know, and I'm on my way to Sedona tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Why, why do you feel Sedona? has like energy and all those energy places to it. Why, why do I feel? I mean, yeah, I've never I been just, to it. I mean, I just tell you, per, you know, pers personally, uh, it's like, I mean, you'll see when you go there, yeah. you definitely make a podcast about this after. Mm. When you just see those red, red color rock canyons and, you know, these rocks that look like, you know, they're meditating and the energy there's you know vortexes is, which is just where strong energy yeah. is just like you have chakras in your yeah, body yeah. so in the earth they also have areas where it's most concentrated healing energy that's and why Sedona is one of them yes yeah apparently it's like one of the biggest yes and then um just i i just uh, i'll share i mean i first went there i go there at least almost once a year except uh -huh. for a pandemic but and i think in like 15 years ago when i first went wow 15 years ago it was i just felt like honestly i mean I, this is me but i want you to feel when you go what you feel uh -huh. i felt like i came home really yeah was it the unfamiliar familiar it was like like the the home of my true self or the home Whoa. of like i don't know how to describe it it's like i always say when people come here i'm like Okay, first step is, you know, come home to your body. 
So it's like I came into my body. And then when I'm there, I have my bowel movements. <laughs> <poop again>. My <laughs> bowel movements are regular. And then I just have, and then, you know, when I hike or go up here, there, it feels like I'm on energy. It's helping me. Like I could struggle going up that mountain, but I didn't when I was there. Like it does, and it's like you're detoxing. So it's pretty phenomenal energy. So, but I, you experience yourself what you feel when you like first arrive and first feel the energy of the place. Yeah, I will. It's pretty majestic. And like yeah. I said, they don't have, um, I think they have, oh, the McDonald's there is like, um, they don't have golden arches. It's green arches because okay. they have a limited, you know, the lighting. So when at nighttime, they want you to see all the amazing stars and constellations. So it's low lighting <sighs> in Sedona. So just probably like Utah, but, but I'm just saying like, at nighttime, those constellations, and I don't know if they're shooting stars now, but that's what I remember. Oh, my goodness. So definitely, girl. I'm going to do an Airbnb. Okay. I was just going to stay there one night, but you just talked me into doing two nights. So I'll just drive there late night. It's like, what is it, an hour and a half on Phoenix? Two hours, I think. Yeah, two, whatever. Two half, yeah. yeah, two hours. I'll just drive there and just see the stars, sleep, get that full Oh, you're going to arrive at night? No, I'm arriving in the morning. Oh, morning, okay. Um, I rented a car, and I I'm just going to uh, probably just hang out in Phoenix. I've never been there either for wow. the day and maybe just drive there at night and spend two nights there. You know, yeah, I want I, I want to hear when you return yeah. or whatever or share with me how, like I said, the, the water at fire down, that's just what I felt, you know. Right. Like, and that's your natural, happy, healing, healthy state. So it's like coming home to your original self. It's like that's, that's you know. Yeah. Yeah, you're, um, oh, one sign, like right now I just noticed, do I have saliva in my mouth or not? One sign of good sign of health or water at fire down, it means you have saliva in your mouth. So check it out. You can monitor your saliva. When do you feel dry? When is it moist? You know, circulation also is better when you have saliva in your mouth. So so I'm guessing you grew up here in the States, right? I did, yeah. I wasn't right. born here, but yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Well, here same most here. Most of my life. Most yeah. of my life, too. Yeah. But why don't they teach you this stuff in school? Oh, I know. That's what, like, bothers me. Like, I learn all this stuff, like, uh, whether it's, like, uh, Tai Chi, energy, or, like, ice baths for inflammation. Why don't they teach you this in school, dude? Actually. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a question about that, or if you know the answer, please tell me. Actually, we are trying to get into schools right now. I feel so <sighs> compassionate towards... You know, you know, the high schools around here, even, you know, we need to start young. but yeah. So they can learn about meditation yeah. and breathing and circulation. Hmm. Let's put an idea that there will be future required oh, courses on God. health. Yes, 100%. You know, even if it's not health, if it's mindful meditation for 10, 20 minutes a day, it is proven with fMRIs and fancy scientific technology, it yeah. will reshape your brain and your thought process. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Reshape yeah, that, the brain. That will I like be, that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Reshape it reshapes. The yeah. Brain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Joe Dispenza says reprogramming the mind. Exactly. But that's something completely different. That's like taking off the VR headset and you mm -hmm. see the world. That's like next level stuff. Exactly. But uh, but I mean, I like the fact that yeah. different people, when I talk to you mm -hmm. and I talk to different people in like Mexico it's that are like shamans, you guys talk about the same stuff it's in same. different language. Exactly. I was like, yeah. but you don't even know each other. Like this is like that's Korean. Yes. Uh, teachings and they're like from deep inside ritual Aztec Mayan teachings. You guys are talking about the same thing. Yeah. But it's just different ways of putting it together. You're right. Yeah. I think, you know, all the ancient. Remember those? Do you know that story about the long time of the. I don't know if it's the apes or monkeys. Like they're in different continents. Like, yeah. But they they all have the same. They found arrowheads in all over the world and it's, it's the same. Humans or I don't know about the apes but there's something that they found it's the same they found um i don't know if it's arrowheads or something but we're all connected yeah synchronicities yeah, we're all connected yeah synchronicities yeah, exactly. one consciousness that's do you, right do you think uh, humanity all shares like the same consciousness humanity shares the same consciousness yeah like we're all connected as one yes yeah that one totally we are one for we sure. are one, but yes. like when you get caught we up, we got in separated. Your, yeah, we got separated. Yeah. Or when you're caught up in your daily rituals, you forget about all that stuff. Because if you're too busy paying your mortgage, and getting stuck in traffic, mm. you're not too worried about that. I mean, once we awaken to that, you know, more people awaken to we are one, and so, you know, I feel you, you feel me. It's the same, you know. When I'm, 
when I'm working with the students here, I feel like I'm, you know, helping all of humankind. They represent awesome. humankind to me, you know. And so, you know, I mean, like I said, that's another talk about, you know, when you get yourself healthy, happy, peaceful inside, that's the first step to health, happiness, peace outside in the world. Yeah, Gandhi said it, I think. Uh, if you want to change the world, start by changing yourself, right? That's right, all our ancient great teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah start exactly. by changing but I like the fact that I don't know if you realize this, but in the recent years, more people are becoming more awakened or just starting to see the world differently. Yes. And it's awesome because they they're becoming more empathetic and more kind to one another. Right. Which more will lead aware. to more aware. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they, I mean, they do teach that to other people or at least like try to or they teach it to their kids. And like, mm -hmm. hopefully there'll be less wars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it all yeah. starts by like breathing or meditating or that's, just that's awareness. Right. Yes. What, what's in this book. They're actually really exactly. interesting. I like the book. Yeah, very yeah. simple. It's very ancient. It's not, you know, it's very ancient. So, so in a way, you could say how to create peace, how to create calm. It's just if the one health principle, like we say, golden principle, just learning water, fire down, and just knowing that keep a cool head, yeah. warm belly. Even people who get stressed, I I say, you know, put a a hot pack, warm pack on their belly, and then a cool cool something here uh -huh. to make healthy circulation nice but we have you have to I'm be gonna try that but you have to be aware when the energy oh oh, oh, oh it's like too hot yeah it's like it's like your head is like your brain i'm getting excited yeah good, good, like, as you should like it's like a computer it's overheating you got to turn this off you know or cool yeah. down exactly that's why computers have coolers we can't be da -da 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 yeah. all the time but when the, this social media and you know it's so much stimulation okay yeah. So the book, I just I think people should read. It's called Water Up, Fire, Fire Down, Down by, by Il Il Chi. Lee. Yeah, that's yeah. I L C H I Lee, New York bestseller. Ooh, mm. okay. Um, um, let me see. I was gonna say the back. It says like the one energy principle you need to take care of your health naturally. And the thing yeah. is, we need to settle our health issues first. Like, how can we move forward if we are not healthy. Health is first, do you, you know? Do you think that falls into a fight or flight state? Like if you're healthy, then you're not in a fight or flight state. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if you're in a if you're in a parasympathetic state, then you're more inclined to be creative and help other people. That's right. Ooh, I like yeah. that. So you just yeah. putting the dots together. So exactly, yeah. So you know, when one is activated, the other one's turned off. So we just need to activate it, yeah. you know. Got yeah. it. And, mm -hmm. okay, on the last note, well, first mm -hmm. tell us the name of your studio. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're sitting in Body and Brain Yoga Tai Chi uh, Center in Pasadena. On Lake. On Lake, yeah. But we have we actually have many locations. Uh, there one, there's one in K-Town, Burbank, um, Reseda. Okay. And also in Orange County, there's some, too. But come to yeah. Pasadena. She's awesome. She just Hi. walked on me. She was, like, really Hi. nice. And I was like, oh, this is this is awesome. Then we were just having a conversation. Yeah. Uh, which was good about like your, energy. Yeah. Your energy, you're an awakened person. Thank so, you. I'm yeah. trying. But it's a constant process. You can't just be like, ah, oh, today I'm not gonna do anything. Like, That's no, right. you gotta you gotta constantly work on it every single day. Mm. Yeah. But I think when you deal with your this issue here, yeah, this is gonna get more clear. Maybe it's remember it's connected to this gut. Yeah. I think you're going to reach the next level when yeah. you settle this. Or maybe issues. Put, I'm going to put some warm stuff up there. Yeah. See what happens. Every night. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? Every night? When yeah. Even as a meditation, you lie down, put a hot pack on your belly. Because there's a lot of blood and energy and circulation, just do the breathing, like a meditation. Yeah. You go very deep. I'll do do you yeah. Do you recommend, though, that people breathe? I mean, do people do laying down meditations or it's mainly sitting up? Not, not for the stomach issue, but I understand yeah. what you mean, do breathing yeah. to warm up your belly. But mainly for meditation, do you recommend people do it just like, this is actually pretty comfortable. Yeah, honestly, any posture is okay. Yeah, meditation is not just a posture. It's the way of being. Or So when you, um, your whole day can be a meditation, the way you walk, the way you sit, the way you eat meditation. So it is about infusing it into your daily life. But yeah, the typical posture like in class, we always do at the end sitting, but we also lie down and breathe. And some people can't even sit well because of their hips. Mm -hmm. So do whatever you need to do to support yourself. There is a different alignment when you're like sitting because mm -hmm. it's like for us, energy comes into the top of the head, the chakras, and then settles down here like a waterfall. But the thing is, if you're like crooked or if you have spine issues, then actually the energy is not aligned well yet. So we have to work on aligning your body energy and then you can meditate better, you know? 
Got it. That yeah, makes so sense. anything's fine. I love walking meditation, to be honest. I've done That's that before. one of the first, eating and walking meditations are one of the first things I ever learned when I was little. Nice. Walking slowly, slowly eating mindfully. Like I said, we could do 10 podcasts, but yeah. eating mindfully, chewing your food, even take, try. I learned this in junior high. My first meditation lesson was from my teacher, this really awakened person. Mm-hmm. And I was having chaotic chaotic times you know dysfunctional dysfunction in my family so i was like where can i find a piece so one day he said take a grape and then chew the grape breathe and then don't swallow it like 30 20 30 40 times chew until it's like so present with that yeah yeah be present in the moment before you swallow and i that was the first meditation I ever learned. Nice. Eating, eating meditation. meditation. Interesting. Just being, but the whole concept is be present in this very moment. Yes. And you can Don't feel think about your bills. Don't think about what's going to happen <laughs> tonight or put a chart. Feel the moment. Well, I just thought about having a mindful eating meditation with kids. You should. <laughs> yeah, why not? Like just, During lunchtime. You know, you know, if they have something in their mouth, they can't talk, right? And I'll, sometimes I do that. Don't talk for one minute. It's very hard. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. then on the last note, I always ask people this question. What do you think? Uh, some people are like, you know, stressed out, they have cancer, they're depressed. What would you say would be the one thing people could do just to better their lives? Some one advice that you would be able to give everyone in the world. Come home. Come home. That means connect with the feeling of your body. Yeah. So that could be anything you want. Like, you know, I was going to do this before, but like. Take your fist, you know, tap your chest. Just feel yourself. I'm here. I'm here in the present moment. Tapping anywhere in your body or closing your eyes, breathing. Just come home into what first? Your body. Because everything's in your body. Your right. soul, your mind, your emotions. So if you don't come home, no change. No change. Yeah. So come home so to come to home you. inside, however you want to do. Breathing, calming down, you know emotions the contents of your mind emotions and thoughts that's what separates mostly your mind and body like like this so if you want your mind and body to come to that's where he, uh, i say healing mind and body has to come together then you can make a you know change that you want you know health yeah. everyone wants health happiness peace that's our, our motto is health happiness peace every single one of us wants that but the first step to get that or um to manage your stress is to come in, come inside, come home. But the easiest way, honestly, if you can't even like move your body, you're in bed. That's what I mean. You can tap. You can, with your fingers, our founder, Il Chili, said, if you can't even exercise, rotate your eyeballs. If you can't move anything, you can move your eyeballs. Yeah. Do eye exercise. Something, you know, like move the energy, you know? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Right on. So two things, come home and then move your energy. Move your energy. Yeah. Come home, realize you have the energy, and that's then move right. your energy. Yeah. Got it. Cool. And that's a great way to end this. Wow, thank you very thank much you so for coming. Much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much.